Welcome back to Living 808. April 18 has come and gone, but getting a jump on next year's tax return will pay big dividends later on. Now, that's right. You can save yourself from feeling frazzled or stressed by taking some easy steps throughout the year. Now, here with more on that, Kenyatta McCoy and Deshana Pandey with My Personal CPA and Financial Planner. Hello. Thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Okay, really, are you telling us that tax season just, you know, it was just last week, the deadline. No, and, and, absolutely. But you're telling us that we should already start planning for next year. Absolutely. It's imperative that you work throughout the year and working out your, your tax strategies as such because ultimately it helps save you. And you can forecast it. You can go in and identify, you know, where you should be and what actions you need to take before December 31st so that you know exactly what to expect during next tax season versus coming in and it being a surprise and you're like ah, I hope I'm in the green and not in the red <laughs> and not you know having to pay and such yes but you know my I hear you and I know right? that you're right <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people out there hear you and know that you're right but it's just doing it right so as an individual tax owner what are some things that we can do to prepare for next next tax season absolutely so one of the things is like I just said in just tax planning and such do you know that you know over 60% of Americans are in the top 1% of the wealthiest uh, individuals worldwide and what we don't recognize is that 80% of us are in debt so there's other things that you want to take actions on besides just the tax planning piece you want to focus on debt management you want to focus on what actions you need to take you know ultimately for the rest of the year in order to be in the best position by the end of the year to improve your financial position overall I like that. Um, something that happens to me is, you know, every time our tax person will say, you know, where are your receipts? Where are your... Right. And I was like, every year, I'm like, I knew I should have put it in a safe place. <laughs> but that's probably somewhere you could start, right? Just kind of, if you know what you're going to need later on, just start, say, you know, create a file a file with receipts or something, right? Just so that you don't have to be searching for it there's, later. There's so many different elements that you can do. I mean, you can leverage technology. You can use uh, smartphones. I always encourage, at least for our clients, that they meet with me on a quarterly basis so that we can go through planning and forecasting for what the tax strategies are. And ultimately, you know, with the, uh, the technology that's out there, you can take pictures you know a receipt you can leverage your bank account statements and things of that nature so that you're not having to keep up with all this paper and keeping these files and such and coming in with you know tote bags of receipts yes <laughs> I like what you said I just thought about that if I if I met with someone quarterly I'd be so organized absolutely absolutely <laughs> and for our clients it's absolutely free because they are tax clients they're able to come in for free and continue financial consultation throughout the year and tax planning I like that all right uh, Deshauna, as a small business owner, what should someone be focusing on between now and the next tax season? Well, pretty much the same thing. And, and for business owners, it's even more hectic because not only do you have to worry about your personal taxes, but also your business taxes. So one of the things that you want to focus on is what's going on with my accounting throughout the year? Who's doing my bookkeeping? Are they keeping abreast of all the things, all the categorizing of those expenses that needs to happen so that your tax person can perform it? Um, for my personal CPA, what we try to do is have all of those services in-house. So the person that's performing the taxes, I mean, the accounting for you throughout the year is going to also do your taxes. So there's a personal relationship throughout the year communicating, saying, hey, what's going on with you? What does this mean? What are these taxes? I mean, what are these categories for expenses? And then you'll meet with us on a quarterly basis as well mm -hmm. to go through those. I'm guessing you guys get a lot of people days before <laughs> taxes are due going, what do I do? You you know, so imagine if everybody you know, <laughs> came in early and created a plan. Absolutely. Trini, is so important to have a plan because at the end of the day, how are you going to change and improve your financial position year over year? If you're not strategizing throughout the year, whether it's taxes, debt, like I said, any element of your financial plan, how are you going to improve it? How are you going to ultimately enhance that position year over year? And if you don't take actions and just go through the motions, you know, at the end of the year, right. you're going to find yourself in the same predicament. Yeah. I think, too, what's great is, you know, we've been focusing a lot about taxes right. because it's been tax season, but you also do just your overall financial planning. So Absolutely. it's important for our viewers to recognize that, that, you know, even though taxes may be done, just to get your 
order just to become financially fit, right? And Absolutely. get your financial situation in order. Absolutely. You can help do that. Experience that financial freedom so you can really operate in your purpose and really enjoy. Rather than living paycheck to paycheck, you can enjoy whatever your purpose is, you know, while you're here. So. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything else you want to mention? That's all. I okay. would tell you that overall, like I said, come and see us. Let us help you in whatever situation that you're in. Whatever it is that you need, we are there to serve you. We are here to serve the community in a way that you haven't experienced before. All right. Thank you both so much <laughs> for being here. Wonderful. Imagine that. Financial freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Not living paycheck to paycheck. I love it. All right. Come in.